KK, and I'm checking in for KK's Corner. Interview time. You know what time it is, right, man. Right, 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 right. Hey, I'm posted on my boy, Chad. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Live, love, tattoo. Y'all know what's going on, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know what's going on. Hey, let me tell y'all, this is one of the best tattoo artists in Atlanta. Let me say it again. I mean, one of the best tattoo artists in Atlanta. <laughs> okay. Anybody who know me know, man, I pay quality for my tattoos. Right, I can't right, go to nobody cheap, right. you feel me, bro? Right, 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 right. And your shit going hard, too. You feel me, yeah, though? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> your shit going hard, too, hey, man, though. We see you. Look, this is this when I first started. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's why I just keep it like this to remind myself of how far I came. You know what I mean? So did you tattoo those on yourself? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so when you first started. Yeah, all in the started, mirror. All yeah. That. yeah. Yeah. So that's how you got started. You was practicing on yourself. Yeah. Hell yeah. Got to see what it looked like. You can actually see the lines that I did. Uh huh. That was actually me just seeing how it was gonna heal a lot. Yeah. yeah. That's what's up though, man. Right. I ain't gonna lie. So how old were you when you first started? Shit, that was uh. I was doing 11 years, so you talking about 22, 23? Okay, okay, okay. Damn, time go by fast. Don't it though, man. <laughs> yeah, so what got you interested in doing tattoos? So I always knew how to draw. Okay. Uh, people don't know, but I did three years in prison coming out of high school. Okay. So 18, 19, 20, well, 19, 20, 21, mm -hmm. I was in prison. Mm -hmm. Seen, um, I seen this white guy tattooing, you know what I mean? However they do it in prison, long story, I explain yeah. that another day. Yeah. But anyway, so I seen that, you know what I mean? And all that shit, I can do that. Yeah. And shit, he taught me. Then uh, when he got released, uh, Hispanic guy taught me. Mm. So yeah, when I get out, they when, when I was in there, they were telling me, bro, when you get out, like this how you do it, woo woo whatever. Man, I got out, started tattooing, just like that. Going yeah, crazy man. now. Yeah, no cap. That's yeah. what's up. So what got you interested in tattoos when you were in there? Was you just bored or you seen them oh. doing it? Like what what made you? I want really to do just it? knew how to draw. So Okay. I, I look at it like this. I say prison and I don't know how people gonna feel about this, but prison was <laughs> Keep my it college. Real. Okay. It was my college. Okay. I went in there, I was with a bunch of grown ass men of, of all ages, you know what I'm saying? So uh -huh. imagine you coming out of high school and you you around all these grown men with that used to do certain shit on the street. You realize who you is. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Absolutely. And then I learned a trade. I got my GED in there. Oh, you was going you crazy up in hey, there. Because one thing about me, in the position I'm in, I'm going to make the best out of it. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Why niggas was beating on the door, trying to escape, crying, calling their mama. I was like, man, shit, I got to figure something out. Let me just make the best of this. Man, shit. what? And came out. And now look at me 11 years later. You feel what I'm you saying? You feel what I'm I saying? I feel like I'm though. doing pretty good. <laughs> You right, is. Right. You is. Right. That's what's up. I ain't gonna lie. I like the way you stay motivated up in there. You like, man, I'm gonna just figure it out so I'll be good when I get out. Right. Instead of like falling into the routine. I, I got that from my mom. Okay. She always, and this is a quote she said to this day, uh, the world keep going. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So no matter what's going on, but y'all still finna live y'all life. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Like yeah. this shot can burn down. Y'all gonna be like, damn, Chad, that fucked up. But you still gonna go do your thing. Yeah. So why would I sit around crying about it? I got to keep moving, too. Absolutely, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. That's real right there. So when you were in jail, if you don't mind me asking, uh -huh. did you have any partners who fell into the cycle of the, you get what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, I was practicing Islam like some years before I went in. Okay. And then I seen a lot of guys converting just to mm. be part of a, a clique. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, see, I was going to say, I see that happen a lot. Like people oh, yeah, come out real. of jail and they a whole new the religion. New, the new thing is uh, Ephi. They mm. go in and come out Ephi. Why do they do that though? It's a when you in a place like that where everybody is a part of a group, mm -hmm. you gotta find one. Mm. You either gonna be in the gang or you gonna be in the religion. Okay, you so which which path did you take when you was in there? I went. Oh, I'm sorry. There be a third one. Okay. Then you go to like the old heads. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. you got gangs, religions, or you just hang out with the old heads. I hung out <laughs> with the old heads. You know That's what I mean? What's up, like I told you, with a white guy. Uh huh. Then he had been like 49. Mm. The Hispanic guy, he was probably in his late 30s. I was 18, 19, yeah. you feel what I'm saying? So, yeah, hell yeah, yeah, to learn how to play chess, all that. That's the type of shit I be on. <laughs> for yeah, sure. for real, yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah. I, hey, at least you made the best of it, gang. You did yeah. your three, you came out, and you did your thing. Ooh, boy, it all made sense, though. You yeah. know what I'm saying? When a, when a motherfucker, when you in there tattooing, and the currency is soups and, and chips and drinks, mm -hmm. It's like you talking about fifties and hundreds and twenties. Mm -hmm. So my brain kicked in. It's like, okay, bet if I can do this in here, and never had to call my mama, 
get what finna happen when I get on these streets. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm look, saying? Same thing, even man, better. Man, look, three hundred dollars a day is, is ten bands a month. Man, I, I tell on. people all the time, like tattoo artists are in they bag. Right, right, right. And it's not even just tattoo artists, it's the entrepreneur like understanding. Like I said, yeah. all you need to make is if you make a hundred dollars a day. Yeah. That three thousand a month. You just gonna work every day. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You wanna take some days off, work a little more. Mm -hmm. You you feel what I'm saying? So I could be selling tires. <laughs> I'm gonna make my three hundred dollars a day. You feel I me? That's that hustle ambition. Yeah, yeah, simple. Simplify this shit, man. It ain't hard. For sure. I ain't gonna lie. You feel like you got your hustle ambition from going up out here in Atlanta? Oh nah, cause I actually well, I got it from my mom. I'm from sorry. Your mama. That's what's up. Everything. Shout out to mom. Because I ain't even from here. I came from Louisiana. I'm from Baton Rouge. Oh, you yeah. from Baton Rouge? Yeah, okay, I only okay. been up here since 2000. Since 2000. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, like, how would you compare life in Baton Rouge versus life in Atlanta? Shit. <laughs> Man, look, they play the part of who I am. You okay. go from you go from dirt roads, chickens, you know what I'm saying? Everybody sit up on the shade trees to big cities, and you can at 13 get on water and just go anywhere yeah you feel what i'm saying yeah. man it was a huge difference i tell i tell bro every time mm -hmm. uh i didn't see a pair of air force ones till i came up here are you serious yes is the life that slow down there man, in very 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 we don't man we walk everywhere you can ride a bike and be happy you know what i'm saying <laughs> you come up here and these folks like nah boy you gotta have this this and that man yeah. i was so behind mm -hmm. boy look i told bro about that the other day my first time walking in my first school was uh Parks Middle School. Okay. You know what I mean? But anyway, walking in there with them, back then we was wearing lugs. Mm -hmm. I don't know if anybody remember them, but Birdman actually made some shoes with them. But anyway, okay. I was wearing lugs and shit like that. So anyway, I walk in with mine, because where I'm from, they the shit. You know yeah. what I mean? So you like, man, I'm from shit today. Y'all finna be yeah. like, boy, these the hardest shoes I ever seen. Oh, bro. Boy, them folks like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> They asked me, what the fuck are those? Oh, God, boy, it was bad, boy, it was bad. I'm glad social media didn't exist, though. Yeah. I've probably been on there. <laughs> they control you on the ground back Man, then. That's look, what's up, boy, bro. What? But I think, you know what? What's the real shit? What's up? I think it was worse then. Okay. I don't know how I'm explaining this, but <laughs> if I don't see you and you talking shit, cool, man, I can ignore you. Yeah. But I had to go to school with them for every day. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? And mama ain't letting me stay home. Yeah, it's only you know so many times I can be like, my stomach hurts. Yeah, she instantly. Boy, you better go to school today. Right, get your ass <laughs> up. Fuck all that. Yeah, Fuck you care. talking about. So, like, how was the adjust? Did you adjust quick when you came to Atlanta? Because of my sign, I'm a chameleon. Okay. So I know how to blend in, you know what I mean? Because so what's your sign? I'm a Gemini. Oh, okay. Right, right. So yeah, people think yeah. it's two sides, but it really... I can be either or, whatever I need to be. I just switch it on and all type that's shit. That's so, what's up, Yeah, shit. that's basically how I adjusted. I just seen who I had to be and I became that. Mm. So, yeah, that's why I say this really all played a part in who I am today, for real. All part of God's plan. Hey, man, I, I wish I would have known that then. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? <laughs> but I feel like God do it if he, it's like if I told you what I'm going to do, mm. it ain't, ain't going to hit. It ain't going to hit the same. Right. Bro, I just had that conversation with somebody yesterday, bro. They was telling me, like, yeah, I want to go to a psychic. I want to get my future read. I'm like, why? Well, you don't want to know. <laughs> I don't want to know. I just want yeah. it to happen. And that's why I feel like it's impossible because yeah. God wouldn't let that happen. Exactly. You feel what I'm saying? I can't, he ain't going to let you know what's going on. They, they can't do that. Come on now. Right. Come on now. So look, currently, for those who don't know, we look. in your own shop. Right, right, like, right. Like this is yours. Right, Stamped, right. established. Hey, man, that's something big. That's something to say right there. It is. For real. So how did you go from, all right, I'll get out of jail, I'm doing tattoos, to, to this? Hard work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, uh, who did, yeah, hard work plus patience. You yeah. know what I mean? That's all. I just, like I said, I seen from the bottom, 100 equals 3,000, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. not trying to say money is everything, but really, if you ain't got no, around. yeah, right, if you ain't got no money, I fuck a dream, that like, shit ain't, ain't even happen, you exactly. know what I mean? But anyway, so yeah, that, plus being patient and just staying focused, knowing where I'm going. Mm -hmm. Because, okay. like, it was some hard times. I remember I had an apartment, my first apartment, all tattoo money. Man, they were roaches running around. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I kept it clean as I could. <laughs> you know you I mean? said they still got in but, there, though. Well, I'm sitting in here doing your shit, and there might be one crawl by. I'm just like, I don't see him. They, Hope you don't they, see him did too. anybody you were tattooing ever say something? Yeah, 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 yeah. I heard, I heard shit. You know what I mean? But what can I do? Shit, yeah, I'm instantly, you still got this tattoo, though. Right, right, right. And that shit clean, you know what I'm saying? I did yeah. what I had to do, you know what I yeah. mean? And then, you know, as soon as I left that, but all that, you know, it just, I knew where I was going, and I stayed focused on that. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? I did what I had to do because. I knew I had nobody else to fall back on. So, man, you know, it's either that or goddamn don't do nothing. You know what I mean? And you see the homelessness out here. I can't do that. Do you hear me, bro? Yeah, bro, me. for all, 
everybody watching, right. tune it in right now. Do right. y'all hear this motivational story, Amen. bro? Hey, man. It don't matter where you at in life right now, bro. You can turn that around in a couple years. Man, no care. I be seeing folk walking down the street. And he like, when I was younger, I probably would have said something. But now uh -huh. I be looking like, man, home might be walking to the dealership right now. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? I can't yeah. say that nigga ain't hitting on shit because he walking. You, you know never I mean? know. You never, never know, know, man. Never know. So let me ask you this. Some black people feel like their skin is like too dark for color tattoos. How do you feel about that? Um, If you talking, if they still stuck in a 10 years ago mind frame. Okay, talk to now, me. Now, because back then, colors wasn't made for us. You mm. know what I mean? You had to struggle to get it in there. And if you got in there, you, you fucked the person tattoo up. Dang. But now, you know, shit advanced. Mm -hmm. So yeah, now colors, it's color for dark skin, mm. specifically made for dark skin. They're yeah. not going to say it on there uh -huh. because, you know, branding and marketing, they'll probably push it one way. But yeah, you see it and as a tattoo artist, you know, that's what, that's made for us. For sure. That's what's up. That's for what's sure. up. Yeah, because I be, I be asking some people like, why y'all don't get color? And they're like, oh, it's not going to look right on me or it's not right. going to heal right. 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 I'm right. like, if the art is good, you're going to be straight. Go yeah. yeah, and good means more than just knowing how to do this. Yeah. You got to know what to buy. You know what yeah. I mean? Shit like that. Yeah, for sure. For, for sure, sure, for sure. So what's the most common tattoo people come and ask you for? Me personally, it's going to yeah. be an historical black figure because I I specialize in uh, the black power leg sleeve. Boy, your yeah. portrait game hey. go nuts. Hey, when hey. I say nuts. Right, right, right. I appreciate that. I'm going to attach an image right here. Y'all going to see how he coming like. <laughs> Bro, go nuts yeah, for yeah. sure. It's a lot to show, for real. I've been doing yeah. this for a long time. I'm yeah. already knowing. Speaking of doing it a long time, mm -hmm. how did you get connected with these big artists and end up tattooing them? People like Lil Durk, Mulatto. Oh, man. Oh, when you're great at something, mm -hmm. you automatically look for people who are great in other things. Mm. You know what I mean? So I just Absolutely. made sure I was good and I was available. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and that was that. They hit me up. Shit, I'm answering the phone. Yeah. You know what I mean? They DM them on it. You know what I mean? It was, it's rocky in the beginning because they trying to work their schedule in at the same time. So Absolutely. I had to be patient once again, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And wait for them. They be like, shit, I, I thought I was going to be able to make it today. I can't make it. All right, bet. It's all good. Hit me up when you're ready. Right. And just like that, man, it happened. You know what I mean? That's and now, now they hit me up and it's just like, well, I'm here. I'm here. Chad, where you at? Yeah, that type of shit. Going crazy, man. Right. So I got to ask, you know, when we coming from Chicago and right, that thing, right. how was the vibe of dirt? Man, that nigga, uh, <laughs> I gotta he, ask. he taught me, choose your words wisely. Mm. And you'll ask him a question and you can tell he thinking. You can see the wheels turning, but he ain't saying nothing. Okay. And then he'd be like, well, yeah, then I went down there and did it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, I bet. You know what I mean? He ain't right. dodged your question. He just answered it the simplest way he can answer it. Because mm. at that level of success, yeah. You gotta watch what you say. Yeah, if you don't want to say the wrong thing, get canceled. You know how this right, community right. is. Right, and I ain't, I ain't take no offense to it. I understood. I said, this man really, this is what it looked like. He's the product of what happens out here with all this trolling and, and internet, like canceling culture and yeah. all that shit. You gotta watch what you say. You do. It's crazy right. out here. Like, right. it's crazy. But what type of, I don't know, I just kept thinking, like, what type of life is that, like, you can only be yourself when you at home for real. Like it's you crazy. can't talk how you want to. You can't move how you want to. But I mean, if that what you signed up for, that what you signed up for. I Man, know. Sure. Whole town, we sitting over here talking about it's crazy. And in about five years, that's gonna be us. Nah, for real. You might make it for <laughs> five years. Your page already going crazy. You ready Man. for that? I ain't gonna lie. I am. I'm ready to be doing big interviews. Bye. I am.